The Guam Medical Society says the Center for Medicaid and Medicare has established a timeline for hospitals and medical providers to switch over to electronic health records and electronic prescribing on island and across the nation. GMS Secretary Dan Del Priori notes that there are numerous incentives set up for both programs. Providers and hospitals can opt for either joining Medicare or Medicaid. And there's different uh, incentive programs because these electronic records and electronic prescribing are going to require that you purchase new software, that you work with new hardware equipment, and that your staff be trained in order to participate. The GMS secretary says it's a long-term mandatory switchover. However, providers can make 40,000 in incentives for Medicare and 60-some thousand for Medicaid. Hospitals could also make millions for the switch. The incentive program began January 3rd, and medical entities can take advantage of these incentives until 2016. If done properly, Guam Medical Society President Dr. Sam Friedman believes it could be an electronic godsend for medical care and responsible doctors, as well as contain costs and paper use. But what does it truly mean for Guam? This is especially important for Guam because so many of our patients go off island to facilities in the States and elsewhere. And it's very difficult at times to get records. Uh, it's, it takes a long time. You have to ask them several times. You don't get the full records. Uh, this way you're really hooked in to everything that's happening. It can mean that the hospital will be able to deal with hospitals and facilities in the mainland. Everything will be electronic instead of typing up records, faxing them back and forth and that type of thing. The medical professionals also say it clears up communication, especially for written prescriptions. I was writing notes. People have a hard time reading Mm. My notes, I've seen some doctor's notes that nobody can read. <laughs> I mean, things like this will stop as well. So, that, uh, so there's a safety issue too, uh, both for uh, pharmacies and for nurses and being able to know exactly what the doctor wants. Dr. Freeman mentions his organization is hosting a meeting to encourage medical representatives to participate. In fact, they are working with Hawaii Pacific Regional Extension Center to implement the program with a team being sent over soon to help transition Guam and other Pacific Islands. The cancer specialist adds his office is already in the process of implementing an electronic plan. And while the challenge is taking the time and money to set up electronic health records, he believes it will take medical care in Guam to the next level. The potential for improving care is endless practically. Again, if it's done properly and, and, and done in such a way to integrate the services and not make it a great burden.